Hello everyone, and welcome to this edition of NASCAR Underdogs, John Andretti. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps our algorithms. So, on to the show. John Andretti started racing at an early age, born in 1963, to Corky and Aldo Andretti. He was racing go-karts as soon as age would let him, and before too long, he would move up to junior stock cars and USAC midgets. Unlike, unlike many racers at the time, Andretti had a college education, a degree in business management. In 1984, John started to race legit sports cars. He ran the BMW North American team for an entire IMSA GTP season in 1986. That year, he and Davy Jones were paired with each other, and they won at Watkins Glen. Andretti joined the PPG IndyCar World Series, or CART, in 1987. John debuted at Indy. He got as high as 7th in the running order, but mechanical issues relegated him to finish 21st in his debut. For the 1989 season, Andretti drove the Miller High Life BF Goodwrench Porsche 962 to victory in the Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona. It was referred to at the time, Sunback 24 at Daytona, though. He, along with co-drivers Bob Wolek and Derek Bell, a little later in the season, Andretti and Wolek was victorious at the Pontiac Grand Prix of Palm Beach, driving the exact same Porsche 962. John ended, ended the 1989 IMSA season fifth in points, first among all Porsche drivers. In 1991, Andretti won his only race of his kart career at Surfers Paradise in Australia. He in fact finished a career best fifth in, in the 1991 Indianapolis 500. John Andretti even went to NHRA drag racing in 1993. John was behind the wheel of the Taco Bell Express top fuel dragster for Jack Clark, actually reaching the semifinals during his first national event at Atlanta for the Fram Southern Nationals. He posted his career best speed of 299 miles an hour. He beat the 1992 top fuel champion, John DeMonto, in round one, as well as the Mopar Express Lube driver, Tommy Johnson, in round two. Unfortunately, Andretti lost in the semifinals to Mike Dunn. Eddie Hill ended up winning the event. Also in 1993, John made his NASCAR Cup Series debut at North Wilkesboro Speedway, driving the number 72 Tex Chevrolet for Tex Powell. John started 31st, but finished 24th. He attempted the final five races in 93 in that number 72, qualifying for four of them. That 24th in his debut at North Wilkesboro was his best finish that season. The following season in 1994, John decided to run the Cup Series full time. He was going to be <clears throat> the first to run the Coca Cola 600, the Indy 500, and the Coca Cola 600 in the same day. Hence the term, the Andretti Double. So, John signed on to drive the Billy Hagen, for Billy Hagen in his number 14 Financial World Chevrolet. Andretti only ended up making 18 starts for, for Hagen before leaving the team. In his Andretti Double, he finished 10th at Indy, and after mechanical issues, he finished a disappointing 36th in Charlotte. The best finish Andretti could manage in those first 19 races only 18 of which he was in the field for, due to the team d and Qing at Bristol in the spring, was 19th at Sonoma in the spring. Starting at race 21, Andretti moved over to the petty number 43 Pontiac. Andretti qualified for all 11 attempts <clears throat> to finish out the 1994 season. His best finish was 11th in the fall at Richmond, but in 11 starts, he sure did finish 
five, he got five top 20 finishes. So, I mean, you know, that's a plus. Andretti left the team at the conclusion of the 1994 season. In 1995, Andretti started driving full-time for Michael Cranfus in the number 37 Kmart Ford. He was able to score his first career pole in the fall at Darlington. His best finish was fourth in the spring at, at Michigan. Also, his career best finish to date. Overall, they scored one pole, zero wins, one top five, and five top tens. Ending his first season driving for Michael Krampus, finishing a pretty impressive 18th in final point standings. The following season in 1996, John began the Cup Series season with the number 37 team, making 22 of the first 23 races of the season. The team did DNQ at Bristol. In those first 22 starts, Andretti's best finish was 5th in the fall at Darlington. The last race he ran for the number 37 team. Overall, they scored one top five and two top tens. Then Andretti and Jeremy Mayfield essentially swapped rides. Mayfield taking over the number 37 and Andretti taking over the number 98. In those final eight starts of the 96 season, Andretti qualified for all the races with his best finish coming at Martinsville in the fall, fifth. In 1997, the number 98 RCA Ford was driven full time by John Andretti and the team had their best season across the board. John was able to score the team's second ever pole position in the spring at Talladega. Also, after leading the most laps all race, Andretti and that number 98 RCA Ford went to victory lane for the first and only time at Daytona in the summer. Overall, they scored one pole, one win, three top fives, and three top tens, en route to a solid 23rd place points finish. Even though the team had a strong year, RCA decided to leave the sport at the conclusion of the 1997 season. Andretti left as well, when a stronger ride opened up in the petty number 43 Pontiac. So, for 1998 and the next season, John would begin a five and a half season relationship with Petty Enterprises and that number 43 Pontiac. Andretti had a solid inaugural season with Petty Enterprises. His best start was first in the spring in Atlanta. His best finish was third twice in the fall at Loudoun and in the summer at Sonoma. Overall, they scored one pole, zero wins, three top fives, and ten top tens, finishing the 1998 Cup Series season. An impressive 11th in final Cup Series point standings. John made his then Bush Series debut in the number 96 Chevrolet that he co owned. They finished 13th. John Andretti returned to the Petty Enterprises number 43 STP Pontiac full time in 1999. 99 was a very good year for both Andretti and Petty Enterprises. In the spring of Martinsville, Andretti was able to score his second and final Cup Series victory. They also were able to start from the pole in the fall at Phoenix. Overall, they were able to amass one pole, one win, three top fives, and ten top tens, ending their 1999 Cup Series season 17th in final points. A brand new century. But for Andretti and Petty Enterprises, things pretty much remained the same for the 2000 season. Halfway through the 2000 season, the number 43 team had Cheerios become the team's primary sponsor. The team failed to win a pole or a race the entire season. His best finish was 7th in the fall at Loudoun. Overall, they scored just two top 10s, finishing the 2000, 2000 season a disappointing 23rd in Final Cup Series points. Dodge was coming into the sport for the first time in decades, and Petty Enterprises were one of several teams to switch to Dodge. The switch really didn't help the team's results, though. They attempted all 36 races, DNFing, or DNQing, at Charlotte in the spring. His best finish was second in the spring at Bristol. Overall, they scored one top five and two top tens. The end of the 2001 season, a very disappointing 31st in Final Cup Series points. In 2002, things didn't improve much for the number 43 Cheerios Dodge. 
Andretti's best finish all season was a 10th place finish in the summer at Sonoma. They had 12 top 20 finishes, but they did qualify for every race that season. The end of the 2002 Cup Series season, again a disappointing 28th in final points. The next season in 2003, Andretti was, was released after, 14, after race 14 at Pocono. Up to that point, in the number 43 Cheerios Dodge, Andretti's best finish was 8th in the spring at Fontana. Following his release from Petty Enterprises, he set out for four races. That 8th place finish at Pocono, sadly, would end up being his final Cup Series Top 10 finish. Then, the Haas C&C Racing, number, number 0 Pontiac, gave him a call and put him behind the wheel for three races. His best finish was 19th in the summer at Watkins Glen. John also ran the Brickyard 400 for Dale Earnhardt Incorporated in their number 81 Chevrolet, finishing a very disappointing 43rd. Three more races went by without John being behind the wheel of, of a race car. Then Dale Earnhardt Incorporated had a seat open up in its number one ride. So Andretti went ahead and finished out the season with them. Well, all but one race, he had ar he ar already had a scheduled driving the number 90 for RCR at Talladega, where he finished 15th. And Andretti's 10 starts to finish out the 2003 season behind the wheel of DEI's number one Chevy. His best finish was 12th in the fall at Loudoun. They, they did score four top 20 finishes in those 10 starts. The following season in 2004, Andretti made five starts in the DEI number one Chevy. His best finish was 13th in the Daytona 500. He also made five attempts in PPC Racing's number 14 Ford. He was able to qualify for four events. His best finish was 20th in the season finale at Homestead. For 2005, Andretti and PPC Racing attempted the first four races. They did qualify for the Daytona 500, which is a feat itself. They qualified for three out of the four events, D and Qing Atlanta. Andretti's best finish in that number 14 was 28th in the spring at Las Vegas. Later in the year, Morgan McClure had Andretti attempt two races, D and Qing Fontana, finishing 28th at Michigan in the summer. John also attempted the season finale at Homestead in the Bush Series, driving for PPC Racing's number 10 Ford, but D and Q'd also. Andretti also made his Truck Series debut in 2005, driving for Billy Ballou Motorsports, the number 15 Chevy. At Kansas, finishing ninth. His best finish was eighth at Memphis Motorsports Park. Overall, in his four starts, he scored two top tens. For the 2006 season, Andretti dropped down to the Xfinity Series, full time behind the wheel of the PP PPC Racing number 10 Ford. On the plus side, the team qualified for all the races. His best finish was fifth in the fall at Watkins Glen. Overall, they scored one top five and four top tens, finishing the 2006 Xfinity Series season a solid 12th in final point standings. The team ran one race in 2007 in the Xfinity Series with Andretti behind the wheel, the season opener in Daytona, finishing 39th. Then John made his return to the Cup Series behind the wheel of the front row motorsports number 37 Dodge. They attempted six races, only qualifying for one in Fontana in the spring, finishing 30, 39th. When Kyle Petty was working for TNT as a broadcaster, Petty Enterprises brought in John to fill in for Kyle in the number 45 Dodge. John's best finish in those four starts was 18th in Chicagoland. Three more races went by without John being on track, and Bam Racing brought Andretti in to drive the rest of the season for them, 14 races. They attempted all 14, but only qualified for 10 events. John's best finish was 28th in the fall in Atlanta. John did run the Indy 500 in the number 33 for Panther Racing. He started 24th and finished 30th. The following season in 2008, Andretti attempted the first 10 races behind the wheel of the Front Row Motorsports number 34 Chevrolet. They DNQ'd 7 times. 
John's best finish in the three races they actually qualified for was a disappointing 35th in the spring of Fontana. Andretti also made two more starts for Billy Bally Motorsports in the truck series. Well, in that number 15 Toyota, John collected his career best truck series finish, a fourth at Las Vegas in the fall. He also ran the Talladega race for the team, finishing 14th. John also made his return to the IndyCar series, this time driving for Ross Racing in their number 29 Honda. At the Indy, Indy 500, he started 21st and finished 16th. Otherwise, his best finish was 11th in Iowa. The following season in 2009, Andretti signed on to drive the Front Row Motorsports number 34 Chevy <clears throat> full-time for the 2009 Cup Series season. Only catch was that they had to let him out for a couple races to prepare for the Indy 500 which they did. The team was able to qualify for all the races this season. Andretti's best finish all season was 16th in the summer at Loudoun. Overall, yes, they made all the races and they scored three top 20 finishes, which was a major improvement over the previous season. Richard, Richard Petty and Dreyer and Rybold Racing put a number 43 Honda on the track for John Andretti to run the Indy 500. He started 28th and he finished 19th. In 2010, Andretti made his final Cup Series start. In that season's Daytona 500, in the in the front row of Motorsports number 34 Ford, finishing a sad 38th. Andretti Autosport and Richard Petty put a number 43 Honda IndyCar out for Andretti to make two starts. His best finish was 9th in Kansas. In the Indy 500, he qualified 28th, and he finished 30th. In, in the 2011 season, John Andretti would run his final Indy 500, with Andretti Autosport and Richard Petty supplying him with a 2011 Honda Delora. John, John qualified 17th and finished 22nd in his final Indy 500. After years away from the sport, in April 2017, Andretti disclosed that he had stage 4 colon cancer. He battled with chemotherapy and was deemed cancer-free late in 2017. Sadly, in May 2018, he relapsed. He went through more chemotherapy for the whole entire remainder of 2018, but the cancer came back again in March 2019. John passed away of colon cancer on January 30th, 2020 only 56 years old. Now, John did start a Twitter hashtag called hashtag check it for Andretti. A man, a racer, who found success to some degree in every facet of racing he attempted. Incredible. Thanks for watching and take, take care and don't forget to check it for Andretti. Thank you.